Oh, by the way, if you're trying to get a stat up and you need to, and you've got a 20, well, actually 20 is the max, unless you get some special shit, which uh, if you do, then it's 96 or higher, the dice explode up. Oh, is it? Yes. Okay. That also includes uh, uh, skills and stuff. 96 plus the dice explode, which is really frustrating if you roll a 96 and then a not one. That's fuck you because you don't get to roll the out one over again. The whole thing's one dice roll, basically. Okay. Yeah. That means that, you know, uh, there's a lot of irony in the universe and they needed to release some onto you. Like, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We are, in the, we are in the Gothic zone, you said? Yes, at Spatula City. You can find it on your map. It's close to the, uh, the statue of the uh, uh, Shadow Council. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. I'm oh. Mm -hmm. about that, I know. But oh, yeah. you're still there. It's near Blind Dog Roofer, if you know where that is. <laughs> Uh, we could go check on on the if if the if the rest of the luck big gag did the terrible job for me. But that would be bad if they didn't. That I just walk in. <laughs> I was I was wondering when you'd come to that conclusion. It's like. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so that's not a good idea. <clears throat> okay. So you want to go do what exactly? Uh, probably the Israel thing is the most important one. Okay. And we're in Gothic. Okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye -bye. All right. I can just watch Chris's brain booting up. It's like the coffee is slowly seeping in. It's been a long fucking week. I can't even imagine the shit you've gone through. And of course, on my last day of work, it was instead of me hulking things, which would have been fine because. I was ready for it. They're like, oh, we're going to need you to train people all day and use your brain. What? I'm going to use my brain all day? You guys are assholes. Fuck. Hmm. Cool. So. Rawr. 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 This is why, Yana, I believe that as a GM, I should be able to have electricity hooked up there by his chairs. <laughs> Because mm -hmm. I can help them. It's like I'm kind of tired. <laughs> Better? Yes. All right. So that means we need to go to red carpet. Mm -hmm. So why don't we go over to Clem's? Yep. Not a problem. Uh, you guys stroll over there. Right now you're kind of wearing uh, uh, clothing appropriate for the zone. Probably you're like I'm kind of an adventurer type look which will work in red carpet because that's San Angeles. And if there's one thing about California, it's that people can dress like freaks and get away with it. You just can both your feet dressing so you can get away with it if you really want to. Excellent. Um, also, as we're going to Clems, since it's a thing in one zone, why wouldn't it be a thing in others? I want to uh, do counter surveillance and see if, we're being, if Clems is being watched. Currently, a brilliant fucking idea. Go ahead and take a card for that shit. And you guys don't go straight to Clems. Instead, you kind of go camp out near it and, and watch it and shit. Hmm. Is there some sort of newspaper on the way? Uh, uh, actually, you can buy a newspaper. It tells you just how wonderful the government is and how they are uh, uh, looking out for you. Um, you guys are hanging out at the Slaughterhouse uh, restaurant and the outdoor seating so that you can watch Clems from there. Mm -hmm. Is they there something? Bring, they bring you a menu made from a dead, pressed, flat chicken. <laughs> and you eat your menu. Still got lumps from the bones and shit inside. Mm -hmm. Fancy. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so uh, any counter surveillance roll? Oh yeah, that'd be good. Otherwise, I was just gonna have the waiter start bothering you. Do you have any money for this zone, by the way, so you can at least get drinks as opposed to just sitting at the table chewing on the menus? Yeah. Cool. You might want to mark off some because Yana's discovered they do indeed serve alcohol here. Mm. Nice. She's getting her day started. Ah. <laughs> Let's... Yeah. What do they want? Five silver? Or is uh, it sure. uh, That'd be fine. All right. There you go. They bring you uh, drinks and stuff. You guys hang out and watch. How's those counter surveillance rules doing? I think Chris is probably sucking. How's Yana? Doing? No, I got it. God damn. Yes, I took the doctor skills. It's for like what the doctor had, and that was one of them. Yana seems to be mostly watching her drinky wink. Yes. No problem. You don't think anybody's like uh, really watching it? Um, in fact, while you're seeing it, you notice that most people just tend to ignore it completely. Mm. Including Yana. <laughs> the woman with no name is completely ignoring clubs. Yes, I'm I'm watching the newspaper instead. Uh -huh. uh, the new the newspaper is uh, talking about how um, great the government is and they're they're also um, uh, saying that the the uh, there there is no real problem uh, with the you know any any kind of rumors that uh, a few hundred children are missing is completely blown out of proportion. Mm -hmm. And if the families have any concerns, they should contact the governmental office. Um, so yeah, it does seem that uh, you know they're they're trying to squash these. Horrible rumors about just hundreds of children going missing. Right. Yeah. And everything's fine, according to the newspaper. <laughs> of course. I feel happy. So, after a prolonged breakfast lunch thing, I mean, you're pretty sure if somebody's got fancy ways of watching it, Chris, like if they fucking hollowed out like little holes in one of the houses and then put some like dark cloth and then they have his watching device. You have no fucking clue, but just kind of obvious people hanging out and being like, a, eh, eh, no. Okay. So you're, you're convinced that no idiots are watching the place at least. And that's basically most people at this point. <laughs> can't really deny that yeah uh, protection from idiots uh, is a good thing okay so then we will go to clums and we will go to red carpet land does anybody have any taxi money this time no yeah i, I okay by anybody does chris have, have any fucking credit cards or taxi money or anything oh for to get a taxi yeah yeah Okay, I didn't know if you had any red carpet currency. Well, if I have my phone on me, like, do I have my phone on me? Do you carry your phone to different zones that it doesn't work in? Well, see, that's the problem is we were in we were in red carpet when last then we you were probably here. probably do. You probably even have your credit cards and shit on you. So, so we'd yeah. enter the zone, and then i just order a Lyft or an Uber, which is through the app, which is connected to a credit card anyway. Perfect. No problem. Um, they are driving. The the Uber guy drives you there. He keeps uh, offering to sell you various other things, maps of the Hollywood homes, uh, bottles of water, um, whatever, you know, stuff like that. But when you get close to the home, you see a bunch of police line tape. Do not cross. Also, on his radio, he's listening to a, a radio station because he hasn't realized who you are, and they're like. James Bolton, did he just sleepwalk through this latest role or did he just phone it in? Is his career truly over and washed up? I don't know, but with acting like that, will he really get into aluminum magnolias? I doubt it. This has been oddly relevant news reporting. And so uh, you guys pull up. Uh, the Uber driver gives you guys an odd look as you see the... the uh, 
uh, police line uh, stuff. There's also a police car parked out in front of your house with a couple of bored looking cops in it who begin to perk up when the Uber driver begins to slow down. Give me spot hidden rolls. Got it. Yeah. It looks like there's a lot of bullet holes in your house and uh, many of the windows have been boarded up. Shit like that. Nice. Uh, I'll go see what the cops are up to. <laughs> uh, right. They get out of their cars. You guys get out of your Uber. And uh, they, uh, let's see, I'm checking there. Uh, do they know? <laughs> cops are like, oh, James Bolton, pleasure to meet you. Sticking out their hands and stuff. Pity about your last movie. But you'll be back on top in no time. That's right. Mm. I, 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 yeah, there's, there's been a bit of a problem, sir. I, before we start, could I just ask, where were, where were you uh, prior to this? Uh, or for the last few days? Uh, we were looking for a friend of hers. We've been in uh, we've been in San Angeles all week, all past couple of days at least. Have you been home at all, sir? He points to your wrecked house. No, but the it looks like someone thought I was home. <laughs> the cops are like, hmm. And uh, one of the cops goes, "So you haven't? This is the first that you've got to see this." Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, we have some bad news, sir. It appears that you're home. Uh, and who are you, ma'am? Hi. <laughs> they tried to make a much harder roll to, she's in handy. <laughs> goes, oh, yeah, that science fiction show my kids watch. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> yeah um, so, yeah, um, I'm glad to meet you. Uh, the Starstruck cops do want uh, autographs from you guys. No. I sign. They look a bit at her like, all right. Yeah, they, they, they got the B-lister. That's the important one. So uh, they're like, um, yeah. Uh, one of the cops is like, I'm going to bring the sergeant down so he can talk to you. The other cop's like, we're so sorry about this. You know, it'd be just a few minutes. We're going to let the sarge go through it. You know, it's not really our fault. Eventually, the sergeant comes down, you know, after 15 minute wait. And the guy's trying to like, get you to dish on some of the Hollywood shit that you really don't know that much about because you're normally in a whole different world. And they don't know that. Uh, but word has it, according to the cop, he's thinking that you've been spending time in India and he, he he's not saying it directly, but he's worried that it's destroying your career the same way Yoko Ono broke up the Beatles. Okay. So that's kind of the word on the streets with your career. She doesn't have really word on the street of her career because she's not a B-lister yet because her sword fighting sucks apparently. Mm -hmm. So anyway, <laughs> the sergeant comes down and he, he, he he's less starstruck, and he, he, but he is apologetic because you guys live in a fucking mansion in the Hollywood area. And he, he's explaining that uh, he says, I, I'm not, we're really not sure what kicked it off it could have been a kidnapping attempt for you but um apparently there there was uh, a couple of different paramilitary forces as close as our csi guys were able to piece together they're not sure at all what happened here but um it appears that they the there was some infighting or something between the different groups um the the They've managed to process the crime scene and such, so uh, you can go in. The city is taking care of boarding up the windows and such. You won't be charged for that. Uh, and your homeowner's insurance, I'm sure, will take care of rest. Um, definitely contact your lawyer. Um, but yes, uh, you, you, you know, uh, we really don't even need a statement from you, uh, you know, because apparently you were uh, not here. Um, when we can find out who did this, uh, then um, uh, we will uh, be happy to, if you uh, definitely, you know, you don't even need to press charges because they were discharging firearms, attempted kidnapping and things like that. So the feds are involved. Uh, 
you know, in a very overwatch position. They haven't actually come in. Do you have any questions on this, sir? So, <clears throat> what kind of weaponry was used here? Well, as near as we can tell, uh, assault rifles. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 he, he goes over. Give me ballistics rolls as he begins uh, attempting to explain some of the patterns. You're, so they used a cannon. <laughs> ah, he says. Hollywood. <laughs> well, it's a little different in real life than in the movies, sir. Uh, these these uh, small holes are generally not associated with cannon shells. Oh, so this was a giant shotgun then. Just one big shot from a gigantic shotgun. You're very close, sir. Very close indeed. Yes. Um, good enough. Um, I've right. held a shotgun once. Well, do you have any other questions for me, sir? I need to get back to. I can go in. Yes, yes. I, I if we if we need anything else or uh, whatever, here's also a crime scene cleanup uh, uh, team. We'd be happy to have them come out. Um, uh, you know, again, it's something your insurance would pay for. There, we don't recommend taking the little lady, and there is a bit of blood in there. What? <laughs> oh, who died? Um, we're really not sure, or even if somebody did die. Um, did they uh, attack the guest house? Uh, no, but uh, somebody did uh, trash it a bit. Okay. Um. Oh, I. The the uh. Also, there was a a, a man here, a butler Jim. or so. Yes, he is uh, in, in the hospital. And they get you the hospital information. Um, he's, um, you notice it's a mental hospital as opposed to a, uh, he's closer to his wife, he tells you. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Yes, yes. Uh, is there anything else I can do for you? I, I know this is a very uh, traumatic time. For you but yes. we, I, I also uh here's here's a, a number of it's a buddy of mine who used to be on the police force um very trustworthy he has uh, a lot of uh, ex-police officers and ex-military that work for him if you're wanting to get some bodyguards or security for your grounds because there are some uh really devoted fans out there right i guess they didn't like my last movie either Nobody liked your last movie, sir. I'm so sorry. I know. <laughs> but you know, are you going to uh, nail the uh, the aluminum magnolias part? Of course, I will. Is that there would a doubt? Be something to say. That, okay. That would that would be uh, quite interesting. I, hmm. yeah. Well, um, good day, sir. Thank you. He heads off. I give Elliot a call. Bobby, you're still, I knew you would still be alive. And they, they, the studio said, did they kill him? I said, Bolton, are you kidding me? They couldn't even kill that psycho lady who's with him. That's right. We're unkillable. Great, great. So you're calling about needing the new part. You're trying to get into Steel Magnolias. I understand that, Booby, but... The problem is, is that your performance was so horrible in the last one, I'm worried that the gravy train may be ending soon. But I might be able to get you in using, leveraging some of the, the, the uh, press of uh, people trying to kidnap you because you're so good, you're holding out your best performance. But if I can get you into this, you got to make it good. You got to make it good. This could be a career killer if you fuck it up. Or it could be a career maker if you make it good. What do okay. you think? Sounds good. Great. By the way, I didn't do it. I'm not sure who did it. I wish I could tell you. I'm so sorry. I know that the, the uh, golf course is special to you. But, um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm, so, um, 
you know, they, I, I've taught, I'll talk to them. I'll see if I can get you in without a read through, but they'll probably want to read through because your last performance, right? You know, so they'll want a, a read through uh, and stuff. When would you be available for that? You're not going back to India anytime soon, are you? Great. I'll go ahead and contact them and try to set that up right away, okay? Okay. We've got to keep it going and stuff, especially since I drove by your house. It looks like it could use a little bit of paint, okay? All right, yeah. Booby. He hangs up. What an agent, you think? What a good agent he is. Oh, I contact the studio and let them know, let the studio know that, oh, the studio knows about the house, so they have their shit. Go. Okay, that's not my responsibility. Excellent. So I go in the house and check it out. Right. Uh, the front door's got, like, the, the police, uh, you know, stay the fuck away notice on it and some police tape and stuff across it and <laughs> stuff like that. Well, they said I can go in, so I go in. Yeah, no problem. Inside, now, uh, let's see, your, your uh, ballistics was horrible, but both of you guys can give me evidence analysis roles. Lower is better to try to piece together what happened. Nothing special, but I got it. Uh, you're going to guess that the house was attacked from the front and back by stuff, people. Probably people. people Two who, separate. Uh, you're not sure if it was separate or if they were all on one team, but it was like, it, it wasn't the same people attacked this way, ran around to the back. That would make no sense to you. Oh, access our security here. Or, uh, I'm sorry, the surveillance cameras that were surveilling us. That I didn't take down. I will see what the recording says. That really <laughs> helps, actually. But Yami, you, you did a really good role there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, do you mind walking around on the grounds also to look at shit? Mm -hmm. Yana, Yana is. Oh, give me a tracking role, just Yana, because you are the great white huntress at this point. Mm. Yeah. Yes. God damn. Yana, Yana, is that a crit on your tracking as well? Do you have a, a, a 40 or better in tracking? I'm not sure. I'm curious. Mm. No. <laughs> Yana's got her feet in the footprints, and she's like, they came in from this way after dismounting uh, from the vehicles over here. They came out of the, the thick woods. They began to attack. She's like, you know, she's like, there was a fire fight. Bye -bye. <laughs> and uh, essentially what, what she pieces together and then later gets backed up by the videotape, plus there's more information in the videotape, I'll give you a second, is there was this huge fucking firefight. And then really soon after that, a smaller force ambushed the people who were trying to get the, the house. All these guys. Super well armed. Uh, as you can tell by the, so she finds some shell casings here and there and stuff. They were using uh, not not M16. They are using better shit than that. Nice assault rifles and shit. And uh, then somebody else ambushed them. They were also using top end gear. And then it appears that uh, there was some chasing through the woods. And then it kind of just you know, goes on. But watching the security tapes, which apparently nobody has managed to fucking find, maybe. Let me check on the police competency. Those may all be gone. They're gone. All the tapes are gone. Motherfuckers, huh. you say. You need to get better hidden tapes. Okay. Installed. Uh... Okay. Um, Would you like to put in new tapes and shit to record and stuff? Yeah. Because they're all just empty right now. Like, you know, meh. Well, not tapes, yes. but sorry, it records up. Actually, wait a minute. Give me a computer use at negative 30. You may be able to recover shit because they don't use tapes anymore. It's up in the cloud. It's tricky because somebody tried to get rid of it like that. This is done. But you were like, ah, ah, ah. I'm going to play a skill 10. Ooh. You said negative 30, right? 
Yes. So you're down negative 20 if you got a steal 10. So if you got 94 or no. Uh, no. It's all up to Yana to t attempt to use the computer at the negative 30 in order to recover the footage to tell everybody exactly. I'll support you. I support. I support. Negative 30. Yeah. Um. Not on negative 30, but almost. Well, negative 25, you got a supportive progress. Would that make it? What's your, um, what's your computer skill? Math is hard. Yes, <laughs> 61. OK, so uh, 31. Ah, oh, you missed my like three points. Cool. Okay. Yay. First, you get out of a Hail Mary shot at negative 60, and have you okay. try one negative 60. Nope. Of course, I'll probably erase everything. Go, Yana. Negative 60. You need, a, you need to fucking roll basically. Bad. Well, like. I'll support be, you. It'd be at a quarter. It'd be at a quarter. I don't support. Yana, so. At negative 60. Okay. It'd be like seven or eight. Roll, roll, roll single digits. We'll talk. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <fucking> nice. <laughs> okay, Yana. Yes. Right. Uh, okay, there's. Uh, you, I think you guys recognize one of the people is uh, uh, he has a porn star mustache, the handlebar mustache. Do you know who oh, that geez. is? No. Right. Is it Rock? Rock. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> not not the Rock from real life. Right. Rock right. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a guy and a girl. Um, there's only one other female player, so that should fucking narrow it down. Actually, wait, uh, Chris, have you ever gamed with uh, uh, Sheila and Scott? No? Okay, so you guys have no idea who these people are, and they're hanging out with The Rock, and you saw uh, Jim coming in with drinks uh, into the living room where they're all sitting around. Yeah, and, but they're part of the entourage, though, right? Uh, you, you, you think so. You're not even sure who's part of your fucking entourage. You lost track of that months ago. Maybe years ago now, I don't know. But Jim looks out the well, Jim was serving him drinks. He doesn't do that for non entourage people. So you're okay there. He look Jim looks out the window, he goes, and he says something, and then the glass starts exploding and uh, uh, looks to you guys like um uh those concussion grenades and shit are going off. Jim immediately falls to the floor, curls up, and uh the other guys Apparently, uh, the flashbangs have no real effect on them. They jump up and they run over and gets caught up by a different camera. And they go into the hallway uh, with the bedrooms and stuff. And they're, they're fucking around with different bedrooms and shooting at some people. And all these guys are dressed pretty much like SWAT, except it doesn't say SWAT. It's just, you know, blank. And they end up jumping out of one of the windows uh, from... Uh, Whose bedroom is it? It's The Rock's bedroom. And then the camera eventually loses them as they run across the field while being shot at repeatedly by people with assault rifles and shit. You can almost feel the hero points getting sucked out during this fucking 30 some meter dash to the fucking forest. Mm, but eventually I see a they... big bunny out there. Mm -hmm. The pause bunny definitely came to town. Yes, it did. Uh, apparently, uh, uh, setting up some sort of uh, stuff against that kind of thing in advance really helps, but they didn't. So, um, and they ran into a forest and then the cameras lost them. Uh, then uh, you see like armed guys going through the house. Uh, they sprayed something in Jim's face and, went, oh. and they pretty much went on with their stuff. They, they didn't seem interested in any of the uh, um, shit that was laying around, you know? Oh. Um, yeah, uh, not even the whiskey supplies and shit like that, which unfortunately the camera does pan across, causing the woman with no name to remember that there's loads of whiskey in this house. Mm. Okay, so it looked pretty brutal though, and uh, from your viewing, you would guess. Uh, oh, give me spot hidden rolls as you're watching the recording. Some of some of the details are hard to see. Half. Okay. 
Chris. Wow, fucking Yana is on fire today. Um, on fire! Okay, it, it, it appears that the initial attacking force is maybe 30 people, maybe a bit more, and then the uh, force to attack them was maybe 60% as strong, maybe a little less. But they had the element of surprise. They waited until, they purposely, it seems, according to Yana, waited until these guys were balls deep in their attack before attacking them in order to get maximum surprise. Hmm. And uh, who was this other team led by, like, like the other team? They, they were pretty much almost dressed identically. Just so you know, all these uh, soldiers, they were dressed so well that they had uh, augmented reality uh, glass and stuff like that. I'm talking high-end shit. Shit the PCs don't even use. Okay. Because, you know, it'll, it'll break on them. It always does. Oh, yeah. I don't even know why why the PCs would look at it. Just give them a knife and let them go. Huh? All right. I'm going to cast a spell on myself. Ah, he says. All right, it goes way, off. Just so you know, the I, I put it on uh, the message boards and stuff, but phase is up to six magic points. It sucks more magic. I know. I see. So grandfathering doesn't exist anymore in this dojo. It does it. No. No. The universe just sucks more out of you. You don't know why. Okay, then. I point at I point at uh, Yana. Nope. Nope. Okay. She's like, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, that appears to be what happened. Uh, there was no real. Uh, wait, do you guys do you know Chris? If you have audio on your shit. Chris, give me a luck roll of negative thirty. If you succeed. Got it. Fucking hell. Right. Uh, both of you guys give me listen rolls to hear uh, some talky talk. There's nothing to hear. I don't know why you're hear listening. Here's Yana swallowing whiskey. <laughs> I don't hear anything. That's what she hears, too. They do talk to each other. Uh, both of you guys can give me lip reading rolls, if you wish. Oh, I do hear stuff. I'm, I'm really oh, good shit. at this. You have an 83 or higher in less. I have 87. God damn, Yana. Go ahead and give me a <laughs> uh, linguistics roll, Yana. They're speaking in a strange language you've heard before. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can get, I'll give you three guesses as to what it is if you don't make your linguistics roll. Is it Hebrew? Yes, it is Hebrew. You have to take a card for getting it on the first fucking guess. Both teams were speaking in that. Oh, no. That shit gets just a little weirder. I have replenish. I could play that. You totally could, but you have to get rid of one card first before you play it. Yeah. Because you're a naughty person. Mm. Mm -hmm. Inadmissible evidence, good lawyers. I know a certain president that would like that. <laughs> Happy birthday, Kat. Happy birthday to Yana. I'm trying to get the other guys to stop pronouncing your name as Jana. <laughs> it's okay. I'm used to it. Everybody does it. Really? Yeah. Nobody knows how to pronounce you without you when they are from like English speaking places. Weird. Well, you could always spell your name with a Y. I know. That's, yeah. That, that's why I would do because then they'd be like, 
How did you pronounce it? You tell me I get it. Mm. I will play it up nice. Hooray! I still remember the one time, the only time when somebody had the special day card and then got the happy birthday card and was fucking delighted. So both of the the two first groups spoke in Hebrew. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. Oh, everybody take a card. Uh, I forgot one other fact that the police officer uh, uh, brought up. Apparently a girl, you're going to guess the one in the video that you somehow recovered from off-site computers was apparently kidnapped and then escaped. And so the police oh. looking for her. Uh, she didn't give them any information on her kidnappers or show back up for some reason to the station. Apparently she was like, I'm free now, fuck it. And just mm -hmm. wandered off and the cops are still looking for her. So if you see her, uh, you might want to ask her to come down to the station to give a statement because cops don't like it's not like, oh, I was kidnapped, but then I escaped, and so now that's done. No, you're supposed to go talk to the police about it. Mm. So that's that's what happened while you were away from your fucking house, Chris. Uh, it doesn't look, it's not as bad as it could be. Uh, Fortunately, you're, you're pretty sure the studio that technically owns the house, you just have a fucking huge bank account and shit. Um, they, they should have insurance on the house. And, you know, pretty much you just need to call them and get it started. Otherwise, they'll think that you were just remodeling in a fit of rage over your last movie. I was going to for the Scarface remake. Mm hmm um right so actually i don't think we need to go to israel i think if we hang out here long enough they will come to us yeah seems <laughs> they may or yeah. may not now, i would like to point out that there's a lot more police presence that just happens to be hanging around because apparently the police don't like it when uh super famous people you know um have kidnappers that come after them and they like it even less when those kidnappers happen to be using better gear than the cops and shooting up uh, neighborhoods and doing domestic terrorism. They seem to have a bit of a problem with that for some reason. Mm -hmm. so that's why. Gotcha. So you, 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 would, you would be rather surprised if there wasn't like a rapid response team that's loitering kind of nearby, you know. They have more frequent police drive-bys and stuff. So you're not sure. And plus, going to Israel, it's like, where to even start in Israel? I mean, I know that you have the address of what of the of the place where some people are of the place where some people <laughs> are. So pretty much I, anywhere in Israel, there's pretty much people. No, the temple, the temple where oh, the, the white temple. hangs out, where Tamara Goldman, who is also Danielle is from and uh yeah what he said well that's, that's true you have not gone to check that out yet that should be interesting so i think we're we should just kind of go about like we should like go to what Elliot has set up for us. Hmm. And uh, I have a feeling they will slowly 
circle us like sharks and then at some point Pure. things will occur yeah okay we can try it it worked last time mm -hmm. right you guys decide to go do some acting and shit now chris First, uh, it'll be a simple two roles, actually for Yana as well, because they know that you want her to have some sort of part in the film. Uh, both of you give me acting and talent roles. This is for the reading to see if you can get in the fucking film. Nope. You're a, you're a glorified extra, Yana. Yep. Your job is to sweep in the background, you know. I just stand there. Um, I made my acting by nothing exceptional, uh -huh. but I made my talent by loads. Yeah. Well, Boy, yeah, you're 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 just oozing with talent. They decide that they will take a fucking chance on you. Um, so it, essentially, it's like a, a really. Uh, let me see how the script is. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. But of course, uh, in Hollywood, the script you're handed is never the script that you end up with in the mm -hmm. end of the movie. Um, but uh, I'm going to do, uh, you go ahead and you take that project then? Yes. Great. This is going to be the important thing because right now from the last movie, you know that you're only as good as your last movie. And so right now you're pretty much on the bottom of somebody's shoe. So they take a chance, though. They go for the, the fucking comeback of Doc Bolton. So uh, for both of you, uh, let me check on their script. Eh, their script doesn't really fucking improve. So it's going to be up to you guys to drag that fucking movie through. It is a romantic comedy type thing, and it's a bit of a chick flick. Uh, like the, the you're, you're going to be playing the love interest, and it's like about women who are dealing with exploring their, their sexuality and trying to get along with our people and the demands of society and the ambition, 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 shit. So there's a lot of women like drinking wine shots and stuff in there. They don't let Yana drink with them. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming, but uh, like, Okay, so both of you guys, uh, for the main roles, is going to be acting and talent, and then there's going to be two other things that will come in, uh, two other roles, and in this case, it's going to be singing and dancing, because there's a dream sequence in which they want you to dance like Fred Astaire and sing like an angel. If you can't do that, then they may have to rewrite the dream sequence, but they think it's very good. Not that great. So... Uh, Yana, you can pick any two other skills. You're not in the dream sequence standing there getting drunk in the background. So any other two type acting skills mm -hmm. you want to go for? So I made my acting. I made my talent by half. I did not make my singing, but I did make my dance. Ooh. Uh, they, they, uh, they attempt to use movie magic to improve your singing because your dancing is great. They want, they want you to do singing in the studio, and they're going to try to mask it on. Go ahead and give me a new singing role. You're plus 10% because they uh, help use auto-tune and shit like that. Okay. At plus how much? 10. I make it. The studio is very fucking happy. Um, oh, do you have any kind of screenwriting skill, Chris? No. Okay. You wisely decide not to suggest any edits. This, the script is kind of eh, but you, you are definitely dragging the film towards success. It's like, you know. Yana, how'd you do on your roles? I made acting and art, and that's all. And you were better than they, they thought you would be. So they got really no complaints. You're paid a couple hundred bucks a day. You're like, yay. Um, and then every every night, uh, I, you know, the, it shows the uh, producer going back to his trailer and his fucking alcohol is missing. He's like, What's happening? <laughs> where, where did it go? And then next night's like, look, I called last night. You forgot to put in the, 
what do you mean you did and et cetera, et cetera. So um, I'm quite happy there. <laughs> poor producer. So um, right. Anyway, uh, you end up getting a, a lot of money, Chris, which pretty much goes into your accounts and stuff like that. It'll keep everybody mm -hmm. going and such. So uh, both of you can take a uh, card for a successful film. Aluminum Magnolias is doing uh, uh, fine. Uh, they, they want you to go and promote the uh, film, Chris, on talk shows and stuff. OK. Cool. You then spend about two months going around talk show to talk show. Give me uh, acting and fast talk role, Chris. This is how, how generally over that two months, how well do you come across on TV? A little screen. Yana, give me an alcohol slash drug tolerance role to see how well you've managed to hold together through all the fucking uh, cast parties and shit. Um, I make it, but nothing spectacular. That's fine. Yeah, you you're, you pretty much interview about as well as Ben Affleck. It's nothing really wonderful, but you know, you know Matt Damon, but I can pull it off with Ben Affleck. Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> and oddly, nobody tries to fucking kidnap you guys or mess with you that entire time. Now, yes, the studio does have more security. Yes, they may have more security at the house and stuff, especially since you are now worth a lot more. There's also a lot of rumors that, you know, you're going to break into the A-lists soon. And uh, you have been getting eyed by other actors and shit, like, might have to kill this one soon. He's almost ripe. 